YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what's going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deidre Helix Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video, all right? So today, Smell Good family, we're gonna be talking about some clone fragrances, all right? So these clones are really that good that they may prevent me, they may prevent me from actually getting the OG uh, original creation uh, of the DNA and um, I know a lot of y'all know what I mean by that I know a lot of y'all experienced that as well and I have seven here today that have made it very difficult for me uh, to pull the trigger and buy a full bottle of the original uh, creation so to speak all right so but before we get started hopefully all is well smell good family happy holidays Merry Christmas Happy New Year hopefully all is well your way for sure positive energy positive vibes I know how we rock here on this channel all right so let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna start off with my latest pickup uh, from the Middle Eastern world and this stuff is amazing man and currently right now I just don't see the reason why I would get a full bottle of the original uh, creation even though it is really good from the house of Pandora since under the Paris corner umbrella we have Cheruto tobacco vanille Tobacco vanille. Listen, man, this stuff, it's spot on to Tom Ford's Tobacco vanille, man. It is literally spot on. I wore this the other day for the very first time. And yes, we're going off one full wearing <laughs> that this thing has my attention. Um, the, the, the leafy tobacco, the sweetness of the vanilla, the spices that are hovering around. In this this is just awesome amazing performer you really get some nice quality with this don't get me wrong I, I've smelled and experienced the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla but listen man this right here is it makes me forget about it it makes me forget about it and that's one of the key points to each and every one of these fragrances that we're talking today and I don't know if I will ever pull the trigger to have the original Tom Ford tobacco vanilla in my collection i'm not just buying fragrances just to buy them to say that i have them i'm not that type of uh collector um i'm into the smell and the experience and what it creates for me and this holds it down from the house of pandora scents uh under the paris corner roof we have Toruto's tobacco vanille this stuff is awesome man they also have a couple other ones from the line that are really good all right up next from the house of mason alhambra under the Latafa umbrella, we have Kismet. Uh oh, almost dropped the bottle. Kismet from in. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. God, just nice, man. Uh, the patchouli in here just really stands out. Um, it, it, it's it's super close. <laughs> it's super close to uh, sales. Tuxedo, um, they did a great, whoever was running the show that day, the perfumer who created this, he or she was on one. This is super close. It gives me everything that I need when I think about why I sell Tuxedo. Now, don't get me wrong. The quality of the originators, for the most part, it is a much more higher quality. I'll be upfront and honest about that. But these ain't no slouches, man, and the qualities compete with these to the original in my opinion and this is uh, this is another example of that you're looking for tuxedo they have many clones of it but in my opinion kismet for men is the best one and i don't know if i ever get a bottle of why sell tuxedo because of kismet by macyon <laughs> alhambra stuff is really really good all right moving along to an actual clone of Killian's Angel Share, and I'll clear that up in just a second. I know for a fact that this is going to prevent me from getting a bottle of Angel Share, even though the bottle's in my house and my wife has it, but it ain't mine. It's her bottle. From the house of Paris Corner from the Amir line, we have Fire Your Desire. Fire Your Desire. Now, this here is undoubtedly an inspired by <laughs> fragrance from Killian's Angel Share. You get the booziness here, you get the sweetness here. It's a slight nuttiness to the fragrance as well. Very sexy, very attractive. And when this line was created, they, they did a great job over at Paris Corner. 
Um, they have your drug, when souls get high, fire your desire in that lineup, all going after killing your style fragrances. And this is really nice. Again, that boozy cognac, that praline sweetness, and just overall just has massive sex appeal with this fragrance for sure. It depends on who you're talking to if this is uh uh 95 percent or 80 percent of it but to me it's right there with killian angel killian's angel share and this one is really really good and it's also an awesome performer one of my go-to date night scents for sure from the house of paris corner under the mirror line we have fire your desire i just don't know if i'll ever get a bottle well, i do know i won't be able to get a bottle of angel share i won't be getting a bottle all right up next from the house of Armoff, we have Club de Nuit's Siage. Club de Nuit's Siage. Now, this is, in my opinion, in my opinion, the best version of a Creed Silver Mountain Water that you're going to come across, in my opinion. Now, this bottle is the oldest of the group we're talking about today. I've had this for a couple of years now, and I never feel pressed to get Silver Mountain Water because this is just so good. Again, the quality of the originals do supersede the clones, but the, these are no slouches, man. This performs really well. The tea, the musk, um, it's just a clean, fresh, birchy, metallic. Oh, uh, it's just, it just covers everything. It covers everything from point A to point Z. And if I got, if I haven't gotten a bottle of Silver Mountain Water by now, the only way that I will get one is if I can find one for dirt cheap or I come across one for dirt cheap. That's really the only way. That's really the only way that that's going to happen um, because this has just been holding me down and it will continue to do so. From the house of Armoff, we have Club de Nuit's Siage. This is an awesome alternative. Awesome alternative, all right? Four more left to discuss, all right, up next. And it's a no-brainer it's almost a landslide how good this is all right from the house of afnal we have supremacy and Oud. supremacy and Oud. this is a direct a direct inspired by uh fragrance from initials Oud for greatness now, there's one out there from the top of Oud for glory and i'm just going to keep it real this crushes it it's a landslide it's not even close and it, it, the quality of the two are better. But as far as this goes to Oud for uh, uh Oud for greatness, the quality in this one is just right. But what I do like is the sweet notes in here really complement the Oud. The saffron spices, it just works. This is a great fragrance that you can wear in the cooler months, in the colder weather, and in the winter time. And it's just a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, and I definitely appreciate this for sure. From the house of Afnon, I don't know if I'll ever get a full bottle of Oud for greatness. I just don't know. I just don't know. We have Supremacy in Oud by Afnon. All right. Up next, from the house of Latafa, this is the biggest struggle probably of the, what do we got, eight? Probably of the eight. We have eight fragrances, not seven. Of the eight, from the house of Latafa, My Hair Legacy. This is ridiculously close to Parfums de Marley, Sedley. One of my most worn fragrances of the summer. Minty, fresh, musky, that sparkly citrus up top. This is just, this is just great. The bottle is crazy. It's clanky and it's janky. <laughs> but they crushed the fragrance, man. They crushed it. And I love this stuff. It's great for the office. It's just great for a warmer day. It's great while you're moving around. Just a job well done. Job well done from the house of Latafa. The, this is my here legacy is great. And I'm a huge fan of Parfums de Marley. Again, if you've been watching me for quite some time, you know how much I love the brand. But Sedley is like, I think Sedley is the only bottle that I don't have of the, the, the popular ones nowadays, especially in Fratcom. And this is the reason why I don't have it. It will I get it eventually? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get it. Um, but it's up for debate. But as of right now, I don't think I'll ever get a full bottle because of this. From the house of Latafa, my here legacy. It's just one of them ones, man. It's just one of them ones. All right, two more left to discuss. This right here is fantastic. 
Shout out to my guy Gold. He smell good for putting me on to this. And um, it is super accurate to what's going after. From the house of Mason Alhambra, we have Infinity Rose. Infinity Rose. Now this is going after Initials Atomic Rolls. Now for a while now, I was one of the ones that was pushing for the toughest Amethyst, which I love um, Amethyst to be a copy of Atomic Rolls, but that's not the case. It reminds you of it, it is a clone of it, but this is direct, a direct inspiration and clone from the time of rose. You get some nice white florals with a beautiful sweet rose, a nice musk, a slight spice. I'm a huge fan of rose, and this is a sneaky performer. A much more fresher take than what the initial gives off. The initial comes off a little bit more heavier with a little bit more depth, hence the quality. As I've stated in this video on a couple of times, the quality and the originals of these are better. They are better. It's, it's, it's right in front of your face. But these aren't any slouches, and this is just another example of that. Infinity Rose is going to keep me, unless I come across a wild deal, um, from getting Atomic Rose. And I love Rose, and this stuff is awesome for sure. From the house of Mason Alhambra, under the Latafa roof, we have Infinity Rose. I really love this stuff. One of the better Rose fragrances in my collection, for sure, pound for pound. And last but not least, from the house of Latafa, once again, we have Eternal Oob. Eternal Oob. Now this, I learned this year, maybe even a couple of weeks ago, that this is definitely a clone of Mason's Francis Kirkchon's Grand Soir. Like, definitely a clone. <laughs> definitely a clone of Grand Soir. I know that I will never get a bottle of Grand Soir, because in my opinion, this is just better to me. I love what the benzoin and the vanilla does in here. It's kind of like a, a a charred vanilla or a charred sweetness um, in this thing. Uh, the note of plum definitely uh, lifts its spirit, so to speak. I say that all the time that this is a scent for the kings. This is king juice, like undoubtedly scent for the kings, king juice for sure all right so grand soir is good the vanilla in it um is very very nice but this is just more my style something that has a little bit more depth a little bit more boldness and this is richer as well it doesn't get as super powdery on my skin as grand soir continues to develop just off my skin that's what it does but this is this is the one for sure and i don't believe i'll ever be getting a bottle of grand soir and this is the reason why from the house of latafa we have Eternal Oob. Amazing stuff. Great bottle design, too. Very creative, for sure. All right, Smelling Good Family. So those are eight, not seven. Those are eight fragrances. Um, oh, they're clones that I have that I just don't see that I'll be getting the OG bottle. And don't get me wrong. The, the, the originators of the DNA, they did a hell of a job. But the clone world out here is crazy. And I know a lot of y'all know that. And these eight right here are really creating a front in front of me where uh, <laughs> it's going to be very, very hard for me to, for it to make sense for me to get a full bottle of the original, unless it's just an, a, a criminal steal, like a criminal steal. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. So let me know down below in the comments for those of you who are into uh, inspired by clone fragrances. What fragrances that you have that are clones are gonna keep you from buying the original OG because they're just that good, they're that great to you? Or do you even just like it playing better? Let me know down below. All right, Smell Good Family, let's go wrap up today's video. Y'all know what it is, Spike it up, spike it down, spike it this thing all around. And remember, what you put out into this world, yes you, yes you, is exactly what you are going to get back. All right, y'all, y'all be cool, man. Y'all be cool. I can't believe that the bang for your buck value on these is just that crazy with these fragrances. They're awesome, man. Splackle.